Good afternoon, my sisters and brothers. This is that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I want to share a word with you today. Coming from 1 John chapter 3, verse 8. It says, He that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested. That he might destroy the works of the devil. So if we're followers of Jesus Christ, we should be doing the same thing destroying the works of the devil but jesus came here to set us free amen he came here he came to fulfill the law and he died he died a righteous man because he never sinned and when he died for our sins god raised him on the third day he came to destroy the works of the devil in the book of Acts, chapter 10, verse 38, it says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. That's due to his power. Who went about doing good and healing all that was oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. So the good work that Jesus was doing, he was going to destroy the works of the devil. Because we know sickness don't come from God. Sickness is of the devil. Amen. And people that was oppressed by the devil, he was healing them and setting them free. And as a follower of Jesus Christ, we need to be doing the same thing. Are you going about destroying the works of the devil? You know, one thing about the devil, he's not going to come against his own. You know, he's not going to come against, you know, those you know what I'm saying who doing what he want them to do, living out out of the will of God. But once you make up your mind that you're gonna live for Jesus, for Jesus I'm living for Jesus, I'm gonna die. That's when the devil gonna come against you. And especially when a believer make up in their mind that they're gonna do what Jesus did is was destroy the works of the devil, tear his kingdom down. Are you doing that? As a believer in Jesus Christ, what are you doing to further the gospel of Jesus Christ? Are you witnessing to those on your job and to the, in the grocery store, on the streets? Are you letting your light shine? Are you furthering? How are you furthering the gospel of Jesus Christ? Are you supporting the ministry that's furthering the gospel of Jesus Christ? How much are you praying? Are you doing intercessory prayer? Are you standing for truth? You know, I see a lot of people come online and they come in people comments and they say this and they say that. But I say, I ask this, what are you doing to further the gospel? So, you know, our, our Lord went about destroying the works of the devil. So we need to be doing the same thing. He was about his father's business. So we need to be about our father's business and i'm gonna tell you i was in um an intercessory prayer thursday night because we have you know we have power at six o'clock and i apologize that i wasn't able to upload a video because when i was when we, when we was live streaming my phone my device went dead so when i tried to pull it back up it couldn't come up but it's okay um but at six o'clock for six or seven p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have Empower, and at 7 o'clock, we have Intercessory Prayer as a congregation. By ourselves, by ourselves, we need to be, we need to do intercessory prayer. When we get with other believers, we need to be doing intercessory prayer. It is not just no bless me prayers and bless this person prayers. We standing in a gap. We must stand in a gap, you know, and bind no demons that's, that got people oppressed. Pray for people. Pray for God's will to be done in all the earth, in your city, in your county, in your state, in this nation, in this world. Pray for the furthering of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Pray for God to send laborers, amen, into the harvest. The word of God says that a harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Who's going out there to minister the gospel? And I don't care if you're not, if you're not even called to the five-fold ministry, whether it be pastor, apostle, prophet, evangelist, teacher, if you're not uh, one in that five-fold ministry, you're called to be a witness, the witness for Jesus Christ. You, we All believers in Jesus Christ should be able to get this word. And, and, um, and, and I think it was in Peter. Um, when basically when somebody come asking you a question, how to be a Christian, what is to be a Christian, we should be able to explain to them, amen, who Jesus is, what Jesus done, what it means to be, what repentance means, what justification means, you know, what does it mean to be born again, what, it, what the baptism of the Holy Spirit is, what it means to be a new creature in Christ, the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, um, using a spiritual authority. We have to know these things, but it's only going to come through time in the Word of God and in prayer. That's the only way. But um, we was in intercessory prayer, and we was praying, and, and you know, anytime my, my husband, if I have a bad cramp somewhere, 
here. It takes about 15 minutes for the cramp, you know, to leave. But, you know, I was sitting there on my knees and I was leaning in and said to me, prayer, and all of a sudden, a real bad cramp just came in my, my calf muscle and it was bad. And I and I said, oh, no. I said, I, I told the devil, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I said, get your hands off of me. Say what? Well, nothing but the devil. Because he saw that we was doing intercessory prayer, you know. And I was just thinking about, you know, the things, how Satan comes to distract us and try to hinder us from doing the Father's will. You know, we just, um, this today we went out evangelizing in the streets and we were preaching the gospel. And, you know, I'm sitting here coming in the house. All of a sudden, I just fall. Look, I done scrape myself up. But, you know, God is good. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. And um, I just want to encourage you people. Let's get for real with our walk. With our walk with Jesus Christ, further the gospel, because before he can come back, the gospel got to be preached. So we want people to be saved. We want people to be set free. We want to see Jesus one day. And you want him to say to you, well done, thy good and faithful servant. You don't want him to tell you, especially, especially as a person who believes in Jesus, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. We can't practice iniquity, um, believers. That's why the Apostle John always say, stay away from idols, little children. Stay away from idols. That's why the, the Apostle said, then that name the name of Christ, depart from iniquity. That's why we got to be careful not to allow sin to come in our lives. Our ears is a gateway to our heart. Our eyes is a gateway to our heart. You know what I'm saying? Those are gateways so we can't watch everything. We can't listen to everything, especially when it's going to distract us, going to hinder us from growing spiritually. Amen? So I just want to share that with you. And don't forget, tomorrow, um, like I said, we have worship at 1030, but I don't record um, us in worship. I don't record it, but at 1130 the word of God Pastor will be coming forth with the word So if you're not gonna if you're not gonna be able to go to church in the morning or you at work um, You're not able to make it Come into the live stream and I encourage you If you are a believer in Jesus Christ the word of God said for they for um, Forsake not the assembly don't forsake the assembly yourselves together Get in a Bible teaching church because God, every believer who has the Holy Spirit, you have a gift, a gift. You know what I'm saying? You have a spiritual gift, and God wants you to use that gift to edify the body of Christ and to help people come to Jesus Christ. So, everybody, enjoy the Sabbath and have a blessed day. And remember that the Lord Jesus Christ, He loves you. God bless.